Good morning. Welcome back to the Lion's Dead. Um, go ahead and uh, subscribe, follow, share, like uh, on my channel because in on this channel is real. It's not fake. It's not phony. It's real. Pure me. Uh, I just want to say before I get started, we just dive right in. I, I just want to say that I'm thankful for life. I'm thankful that I got to wake up early this morning, take my beloved significant other, fiance to work, waking up my kid up from school and I love my job I really do um I got I got the I have the opportunity to see different people all over the world you know I'm that friendly person that you meet you know in, in the street and also I am actually a upcoming music artist I have my clothing brand. <coughs> Excuse me. I have my own cl clothing brand. And I started it in 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 2020. You know, during COVID and all that stuff that's actually happening. But at the same time, family always have my back. Growing up as a kid, family has been a part of me, ingrained in me from, from the time I was, God created me to the time I came on this earth. Um, and I experienced that last week. Last week, we had a, the family, we had an unforeseen circumstance. Where my aunt, she wasn't feeling too good for the last three months, you know, health-wise. Um, but she's with with uh, Heavenly Father and and all of our family that have gone before us. And last week, Thursday and Friday night into Saturday, um, even though we are broken hearted knowing that the fact that yes my aunt's not on this earth anymore but we still have but we still have the opportunity to celebrate life when it comes to my family we protect each other, we watch out for each other, but at the same time, we celebrate each other's company. We talk about life, we talk about what's going on in each other's lives. We, we take care of, of, of each other, we do. <coughs> as far as, we can go to any one of the family members in our family and, and talk it out. Why? Because in my family, we don't keep anything in. We don't. Because when you keep things in, it the cup just overflows. It doesn't. And you try to <coughs> compart you know, comp you know, put it in compartments. And all this stuff that is actually happening to you. And that's what happened to me. When I was in my early 20s, I really didn't, like, talk about, you know, my emotions. And I, w and I kept everything inside of me to the point where I ran away from home. I did. And 
in in my mind, I don't have a home. That was my belief. Oh, I don't have a home. I'm alone. I don't have anybody to count on. And this is things what's going through my mind. And when it when it goes through my mind, it's like I started to speak it. Now, affirmations is perfect. And after I got those things out out my head, that yes, I do have a home. Meaning what? Family. I have a significant other that I'm about to get, get married to. And I have kids. And I have a job. I have my family. I have my parents. And I have all this support system. And my support system is my family. And in my 20s, I lost a side of that. In my early 20s. And I'm only 32. So, but growing up, my parents would take me to family, you know, outings and, you know, Christmases, birthdays, uh, parties, weddings, funerals, family reunions. But at the same time, though, now in my life, I'm only 32. I know I don't look like it, but I am 32 years old. And, but at the same time, family to me is important. I am a family man, meaning I am willing to do whatever it takes to protect my family, whatever my family needs from me as a nephew, a cousin, a brother, son, grandson. Because, guess what? No bullshit, okay? No bullshit. I know I'm using profanity, but guess what? My family taught me growing up as a, as a child and growing up is be real. That's it. Be real. There's no room to be fake. There's no room to be phony. There's no room to be, you know, having your nose up in in, in, in the sky because, oh, you, 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 you're better than everybody. That's not what my family is all about. My family is all about is, guess what? You struggling? Okay. You admit that you're struggling, but guess what? You're trying. And when you try, guess what? They are willing to help you out. Now, family, yes. Family wants me, specifically me, to be successful, to be prosperous. Now, guess what? In 2020, 2019, 2020, during COVID, or before COVID, my my, uh, homeboy and my cousin... They they were there for me, you know, getting acclimated to, you know, what, you know, where I was living at and we would hang out and stuff. <coughs> and, and it was a hard, it wasn't, it, it was a typical transition for me. Five years on, on my own. Five years of... of of ind- being independent, five years of uh, learning to be independent, pay bills, and just do things on my own. And I had a, a issue of running away. Running away means I ghost. I go ghost. I. Don't answer phone calls from my parents. I don't answer phone calls from my cousin, my homeboy, people who cared about, people who who care who cares about me. 
people who cared about who cares about me, I ghost to them. I push them away because what because I didn't want to be a burden. And guess what? <clears throat> My family thinks that I am not a burden. God doesn't think that that you're a burden. Because you, because you know why? God loves us so much that he gave us a family where we can actually go to and say, Hey, hey fam, I messed up. This is what I'm struggling with. Please help me. Guess what? They're there to help. They're there to, okay, you got something on your mind? Speak it. Because when you do that, you're opening up everything. You are releasing everything. You're letting go, a.k.a. frozen, let it go, because when you let all these negative emotions coming out of you, it means that you're doing, that you're feeling, you're going to feel a lot better, and trust me, my family has a way of uh, you know, we uh, we drink, okay? Because when, when you drink, you tend to open up more. And that is the logic because when, when you drink, a lot of stuff can flow, flow out of you. And look, my family, they don't care. Cry, yell, use profanity. Whatever you need to do to, to get those emotion, those negative emotions out of you, do it. Excuse me. And I am fortunate to have family like that. First of all, it doesn't matter, you know, helping, you know, family, you know, helps, but not monetary. Because helping is to make sure that you, man or woman, To love yourself first. Love yourself. Regardless of who you are. As a person. As an individual. Before you do anything else. Love yourself. Because you know why? Because when you love yourself. You can, you're can you able to love that other person. Now. In this world. There's so many. Things that is. Going on to the point where. Families are divided, and but with my family, we are not divided. We're together. We're united. Cause you know why? Because we are united under God. And when God is in everything, things tend to change. And guess what? I'm not here to preach. I'm not here to do a sermon. All I'm and I'm not posing my beliefs on anybody in this world. Because you know why? Cause God given us a free will to choose who do we serve that's what God does God is a father who wants us to have free will to serve him or guess what or serve the other it's in the scriptures if you don't believe me look in the bible yes the bible that is God's communication to us in this world, on this earth and in every religion in every religion in this world there's a word called faith if you don't have faith you don't have anything else look we're all struggling in this life and guess what, God says we will have trials and tribulations on this earth. Well, guess what? Struggles is our story. If you don't have a story, we don't have a struggle. And maybe this is my platform to speak to people who is going through things like experiencing homelessness. Trust me, I've been homeless. And I thought it was freeing, but it's, it's, it's really not freeing. Freeing meaning... You know, and I was living in in my car for a couple months. I didn't like it. Because you know why? 
go into a gas station, you're parking at the gas station. They get you for a uh, loitering and they want you out of that spot. <coughs> Guess what? I was homeless. I had no money. I had no finances. But guess what? God always come through for me. Why? Because I am always able to go home. Meaning my family. My family was the one that I can always go home back to. And that is home to me. That is my definition of home. It's family. Home equals family. Meaning, guess what? Home is my safe space. And I didn't have that. Because five 